So something really weird just happened. I was on uh, trying to record with a different weapon and I was over on hijacked, right? So I picked the wrong class setup right at the beginning of the game, picked the wrong class setup, went to change and this menu wouldn't work. So like the change class, the leave game, I couldn't click on anything. Nothing, I couldn't click on anything. So obviously that puts you in a bit of a predicament. If I do say so myself, when you're, you're trying to record with a certain weapon and uh, well, you can't, you can't use that weapon. So it was actually the KSP or I'm sorry, it wasn't, it was the bullfrog I was trying to use. And obviously if I can't use the bullfrog. What's the point of me staying in the game? So I thought maybe it was just like a, um, you know, like a, a, a change class glitch or something. I mean, I don't know. I can't really explain it. You know, I can't really explain it because it's something that's never happened before. I just didn't know. I, somebody had mentioned that it's actually. I had a problem where. I had a problem in one of my videos a week or two ago where my mini map bugged out. And I found out that was actually a pretty common glitch, which was really surprising to me. I had no idea. So I, it appears there's a lot of bugs in this game that. I'm just not really familiar with, I guess. And I have a, I play it of course, but like it's been a pretty good time since I like really grinded the game. Oh, it was good timing on that nade, huh? Whoa, that was a quick scope from hell. Oh, he didn't even quick scope me. That's tough. I, I'm off topic. Um, I kind of forgot what I wanted to talk about. I mean, that first topic, you know, was just like a recent thing I had remembered is really what happened. You know, I had a whole topic of conversation I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to be super aggressive, but it's not working the, you know, perfectly. I mean, I, I got a good amount of kills here. There we go. That's that's going to help us a lot, Harp. Let's do this. This harp's changing the game for me. Unfortunately, no more harp, which is tragic. It is, it is tragic. I mean, right there, I lost all all my info, and I was in the in the thick of it. We're at thirty three. Thought I heard one. I expect nothing less from a map like this. The chaos is really what I'm, you know, I'm after. I hate rounding a corner with like nine people. You know what I mean? I love chaos, but not chaos like that. I like controlled chaos where I'm the one controlling it. Nope. There is a guy here. I had a sneaking suspicion.
All right, I'm at 44. I don't know how I'm alive. I had to run away. No, there was a guy there. I'm gonna go with this cruise missile quick. I need one kill for 50. There we go. Alrighty, that should put us at 50. Oh, I'm kind of moving and grooving around the map. I found my flow towards the end of that game and put in the work. 57 and five. So as you guys can see, this was a pretty fast paced build. We were absolutely flying around the map and that's kind of how you have to play with a weapon like this. We didn't focus on having no recoil or focusing on things like damage range. We focused strictly on getting up in their face and targeting, well, aggressive style of gunfights due to the high damage of this weapon that's kind of where you're gonna find the most success so let's get us started here the infantry compensator i did feel like this was necessary because without it it, it does bounce around a lot it's going to give you 12 percent there to your vertical recoil control for a barrel here i went with the extended barrel we have zero cons to running this one while increasing the bullet velocity by 40 percent you can't see our damage range is quite good at 15.24 meters and it is still possible to get a one burst kill you can see the 50 base damage now down here to our under barrel or yeah grip bruiser grip going to increase your movement even further just to help you a bit there with the aggression nothing too crazy it is only three percent to some values but even that little bit does help for the handle you're going to want the airborne elastic grab it's going to primarily target that aim down sight speed at 30 percent but you're also going to be getting flinch resistance and of course ability to drop shot and then our last attachment is the raider stock as always increasing our sprint to fire speed by 30% and then an additional 10% there to some movement via aim walking movement speed. So a very aggressive build at the end of the day. And I had a ton of fun using this thing. I don't think I ever made like a movement style of KSP build uh, back when this game was what you want to say relevant. Uh, so I had a ton of fun covering this. If you guys want to see more movement builds, make sure you guys go down in the comment section and let me know. If you guys want to copy all this down, make sure you guys pause the video now to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys in the next one.